Welcome to the Open eCrime Market Commentary for the week of January 2nd. My name is Toby Gennaro and just coming to you here with the outlook for the week on the markets. Starting off then with the S&P 500 taking a look here at the ES futures contracts and just starting with the higher time frame here the monthly chart we can see that these couple of candles we've been looking at here for the last couple of months had that nice rejection candle right there broke the high of that in uh, the following month and then in the month of uh, January just broke through uh, the high of that so we basically have three higher highs in succession here for the last three months very good very bullish sign and going over here to the uh, the weekly chart we can see that a uh, little clear as we broke through uh, the high of that we basically got a pullback off that most recent high it looks to be about either a 50 or a 62 percent retracement and as we go down to the daily chart we can see that a little bit better if we put in a Fibonacci from the most recent low to the high of today we can see that that big drop on the fiscal cliff crisis just pulled back to that 62 percent level uh, got a nice little dot double bottom structure there on some of the lower time frames and then we shot straight back up and put in a brand new high so things are looking really positive as you can see uh, all the momentum is up on all the higher time frames simply means that we want to be trading with the higher time frame trend and with the higher time frame momentum and so we have you know all the moving averages in order on the monthly the 50 the 20 the 10 the 200 the 50 the 20 and the 10 on the uh, on the weekly chart as well and then on the daily chart we have the 50 just getting back into an alignment and we have everything in alignment there and then on the 480 chart things are looking to uh, begin to move back into alignment there as well so I had a little gap up this morning based on that uh, fiscal cliff crisis that we we're looking at got that resolved on Monday so the market shot up huge about um, oh, roughly over I don't know almost 60 looks like 60 70 points there and so what we're looking for is we're looking for pullbacks into the moving averages on some of these uh, lower time frames even looking here at the daily chart we're right up back into that uh, trend and so we could be looking for some minor pullbacks right back into that 10 20 period moving average and looking for those bullish candles looking for support levels like right around that 14 20 level we have a gap there this morning right around 14 24 so it's very possible we could get a pullback to that 14 24 level and then bounce off of that support level right there to then push higher back into this this 1465 1467 level so again we're uh, bullish on the uh, on the indices and looking for the markets to move higher and then moving over to the small cap index the Russell 2000 looking at the TF the futures contract on that index and as we've been talking about for a while on the monthly chart this has been taking a, a long time to set up but we have a nice flat level there with one two three and now the fourth touch we've actually gotten a breakthrough with that high so uh, for this month the new candle the high is uh, 870.30 and we broke the high of 865.40 so we've got a breakout of this uh, this flat level we'll see how much uh, further we can move up this is going to be this isn't going to be a um, you know a, a, a fast explosion here it took a long time to set up on a monthly chart which means it's more than likely going to take a long time to complete to the upside as well but that's a very very bullish sign right there as you can see we have the uh, the one main pullback here and then we have uh, lower uh, higher lows coming in here and then that nice flat level there which we just got a break of we could see that uh, that break a little bit better here on the weekly chart and then we can see the higher lows in place trending up into that flat level so very bullish here on the Russell contract and again uh, we can see that gap up in the morning based on that uh, fiscal cliff news and we have all the moving averages in alignment as you can see everything looking very bullish higher highs higher lows throughout uh, the last um, basically the last several uh, several years here on on the monthly chart going all the way back to the um, to the 2008 2009 crisis as we're looking at the uh, the 480 charts from the lower time frames you can see everything in alignment got some good extension away from the moving averages so wouldn't be looking to necessarily uh, get on board right here but probably looking for uh, maybe a slight pullback on some of the lower time frames maybe back into that um, uh, that 850 level or this uh, support level right here around 843 and then seeing if we can get uh, a bounce back higher but we do have a break uh, of that so they're gonna be uh, probably multiple opportunities to take advantage of that break and looking for pullbacks looking for trend flow trades in the setup candles back in the buy zone amongst that 10 and 20 period moving average so no need to get get nervous and get jumpy feel like you missed the um, 
uh, miss the entry, they're still going to be on the lower time frames. Plenty of opportunities to uh, potentially get long on this existing trend. But it looks like it's going to be one that's uh, going to be moving higher. And uh, one way that we can gauge that is just by looking at where the flat level is and then where the low of the of the consolidation is. So this right here is going to be the consolidation. So we got anywhere from 590 level all the way up to that 860 level. So roughly about 70 points. We'd be looking 60, 70 points to the upside from here, which would put us in at what 870 put us up around 940 by the time this is complete. So being that this has taken a long time to set up that move as well, more than likely will take a long time to happen to the upside. But uh, we can still trade that uh, in and out uh, as uh, as the market pulls back and still look for the same trade setups, flat level breaks, and the trend flow trades uh, as they set up in the buy zone on some of the lower time frames. And looking at a final currency pairing here, the pound yen, and looking at some of the higher time frames again on the monthly chart, we've had a uh, pretty strong downtrend here, but we've uh, basically put in um, uh, kind of a floor here right around that 116, 117 level. We've got some uh, some divergence here on the indicators with that uh, with that second touch, and we just put in a basically a higher a higher low right here on the monthly chart, as well as a uh, a break above this level, which put us in at a higher high. So we have a change in trend right here on the monthly chart, which can be pretty powerful on the higher time frame. And as we look on the weekly chart, we can see that pretty clear down here. Right down here, we have divergence again on both the MACD and the RSI. Nice uh, bottoming structure right here. We launched off of that, broke the high of this level right here. And then we pulled back again, put in that higher low, and now we broke above that level to put in that higher high. So all the moving averages then in alignment with the exception of the 200. So we have the 50, the 20, the 10. So what we'd be looking at right here as we look at the daily chart, really nice formation here, everything in alignment. All the moving averages spaced out, same angle, moving up very nicely. A lot of small candles, which is great. We're just looking for a pullback right back into that zone, say potentially right around that uh, 137 level. So we go down to the smaller time frames, we can probably time that a little bit better and look for an entry right around that 139, 137 level, potentially uh, the 137 be a little deeper pullback. So looking at some of those lower time frames below the 480 can help you get pullbacks and set up candles right within that 10, 20 period moving average and looking for the pound yen to move higher into this trend. So just uh, the end of this trend is basically when it ends, but you can kind of get a gauge on that by looking for divergence on some of these time frames like the 480, the 240, the 120, and the 60 will give you some idea of how uh, and when these pullbacks are going to be um, be happening. So keep an eye out on the pound yen. Looks like a good trend uh, going long there. So uh, trade the lower time frames on that and, um, and take a look for those uh, flat level breaks and the trend flow setups in the buy zone. So we'd like to thank you for watching the Open eCry Market Commentary for the week of January 2nd. My name is Toby Gennaro, and we look forward to speaking to you next week on the Market Update.